hi welcome to ar care and small guru in this video i'm going to demonstrate the dynamic uh, capabilities of uh, in motion which is a motion simulation add in for autodesk inventor i have a example of a pendulum assembly so as you can see it has two parts and an uh, insert uh, constraint out there and uh, it's free to rotate in along uh, global Z axis so Z direction is the one in blue so I have this so to test whether it works for uh, dynamic simulation I go to it motion which is an applications tab so in the earlier pendulum example I had actually uh, right clicked on this and then set a rotation so in this case I'm not going to do that I instead I'm going to right click on gravity and s go to set gravity so I can uh, give a gravity of uh, minus 9.81 meter per second square minus because I want in the negative y axis y direction so I click OK and uh, let's have simulation up to say 5 seconds so I click OK then right click and enable simulator so I need to start simulation which I have done so what did it, uh, it passes all the data to our motion solver and uh, this time we are passed the gravity information so as you can see it's moving slowly and steadily so it goes up there and uh, it slows down stops and comes back in the reverse direction so this is how a pendulum would ideally behave when under gravity so yeah again it comes still here stops and again comes back as you can see the velocity of this uh, component increases as it reaches the center which is very much the case with the pendulum's bob and velocity becomes zero at the end of uh, the oscillation okay this is a simple example showing uh, the action of gravity on components so gravity can also be set on uh, relatively complex mechanisms yeah that's it for now and uh, we are working for betterment of this software thanks for watching